So today we are going to build an AI chatbot using generative AI that is Gemini Pro APIs and also with the help of Streamlit for the UI creation. Hello guys, welcome to Webosmotic Private Limited official YouTube channel. I am Yash Singhvi with an experience of 5 years in the IT industry. Currently, I am working as a team lead with an expertise of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Today, I have got a useful thing to share with you which will help you a lot in your work. Let's get started and work together. So firstly, we'll set up a project. So to set up a project, I will create a folder. Name it as a chat application, chatbot application. After that, I will open the command prompt. In the command prompt, I will firstly install the virtual environment package that is virtual env. After installation of the package, we will create a virtual environment for the project so the command for it is this with the naming of environment as env so now let me just activate the environment so we have now successfully activated the virtual environment for the project now after setting up the environment let us go to the website that is eistudio.google.com to get the code for our project. So here we have to specify the settings. There are various kind of model. I will just simply select the Gemini 1.5 flash. Then we have the token count. Then there is temperature. Temperature is basically the higher the value of temperature, higher is the creativity of the response. Lower the value of temperature, lower is the creativity of the response. So I'll keep it around 0.6. That is to balance the response of the AI model that is Gemini 1.5 flash. And this is a stop sequence. We don't need to stop the output. So I will keep it as a blank. Then we have the safety settings. I will likely keep it to none. So I will make uh, every setting as none and close it simply. Now we have the advanced setting in that uh, we have output in JSON. So we don't want the JSON output. So I will turn it off and then we have the top key which isn't editable. So let us just now grab the code to get the code here. We have the Python code. We can select different languages, but we are using Python. So I will just simply this simply copy this code. So after copying the code, we will be opening the VS code through command line. So after opening the VS code, we will be creating a file, name it as app.py and simply pasting the code that we have grabbed from Gemini website. In this, we have a package to install. So I will just simply copy this package and open the command prompt and paste it here. Along with uh, this package, we will be installing Streamlit. So this package is for the UI perspective. We will be using it on later on. So let us just install this for now. And we will be pasting this in the command line. Along with the Google Generative AI package, we will be installing the package that is Streamlit. Streamlit is for the UI. We will be using it on later on. So let us just install it for now. And another package that is python.env, which is for getting the environment variables in the project. So now all our packages has been downloaded successfully. Let me just go back to the code and in the code we need the Gemini API key. So for that I will be going back to that website that is eistudiogoogle.com. In that here we have on the left hand side the get API key. So I will just simply click OK and here already I have few key keys but I will create a new API key for this project. 
so here i have to select any one of the project so create api in existing project i'll just simply copy this key and go back to my project here i will be creating a file that is dot env and here i will be pasting this key and giving a name that is the environment name which is in this code and assign the key to it after setting up the environment file let me just import a method from the dot env package that we installed previously so that is we have this method load dot env so let me just call it before before taking the gemini key api from the environment so let us just save this file and also we have the config here we have the generative ai model of google generative ai then here we have the start chat method we get the chat session and through the chat session we have the method send message and here our input prompt would go so i will just add here hi how are you and this will give a response in a text format so we are printing that response by response.txt so let me just open the terminal and run this file quickly so here we got a response back from the ai but as an ai i don't have feeling how i am ready and we got all the response so now we will be using the streamlit package to create the ui for it now after running the application through generative ai i have added the package streamlit so streamlit is basically an ui platform it's a package provided by python to give the ui so basically i have imported streamlit and from streamlit there are various various methods how to create the ui so firstly and for foremost i have assigned the gemini history the conversation history to streamlit so using this this uh, lines of code i have done that and then after that we have our same code and this is st.write that is the title title of our website so you can change it according to your need and also we have provided the icons or avatar for our chat applications for ai we have written ai and for yeah avatar icon we have given a icon for it you can change it according to your requirement then we have the safety settings of gemini the config of it then we have the model of it then we have the history so as i told you like uh, we have pass our history that is gemini history to streamlit and and send it and assign it to the model of generative ai and to display the messages i have uh, went through the messages that we get from the generative ai that is gemini and we assign it to the streamlit and streamlit has a method has an inbuilt method that is chat message which allows you to loop through the messages and give a function through it and you can write the message using this markdown function then whatever prompt we send we have to write i mean like uh, the person who is going to chat with the platform he will be continuously he or she will be continuously writing a message and that message will be displayed uh, using this code and the response we get back from the gemini so this is the response and we send back the response to the streamlit chat and streamlit chat write it down using this line of code and we append this message the whatever messages we get from gemini we add them to to the streamlit chat history box okay and this is just for consoling to check like what messages are going on and in last we are assigning the history gemini history the message chat history of the entire conversation we are having with the chatbot so this is the code to run your application through streamlit you can use any ui you want you can go with react you can go with angular is just uh, we are having a coding in python and python provide a package that is streamlit which is very easy easy to use and uh, to create the ui for your application yeah thank you
this is it thanks for watching if you got a good knowledge from this video don't forget to like share and subscribe looking forward to your feedback in the comment section and remember be curious see you in the next video